Hi friends, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to everybody know, new. Hello and welcome. This is Bindi. Bindi is a full-bodied silicone baby girl. And she is the Willow Awake by Claire Taylor Dolls, done by artist Jenny Lee. So, um, I want to give you her first official outfit change. Um, I was so excited. A few little bits and pieces came uh, today that I ordered for her. And I was so excited. I had to run up and figured I'd fiddle with it all uh, while chatting to all of you. It's sweet Bindi and she's looking. She says, oh, it's all this excitement for one little girl. I'm telling y'all, it's really fun having a baby girl. I'm definitely really, I mean, I have girls in Reborns and I have my silicone uh, baby girl preemie, um, but it's, it's different having a full size baby girl to shop for. It's just different. Um, all right. So, oh, I have to tell you all, you know, I ordered from, what I'm doing is, is I'm not doing going hog wild doing any major hauls or anything like that um it's you know the belt is tight and it and also I have the holidays and all that but um so I'm being very kind of selective and just obviously needed a few things for her and yeah, it's part of the bonding process anyways I'm gonna tell you all the children's salon children's salon I'm in the United States. I'm in New York, on Long Island, New York. I order from them, and in two days, the package is on my doorstep, even before my regular mail comes. Like, I don't know why the U.S. doesn't figure out what the U.K. does in their postal system, but they got their crap together, let me tell you. And when you order from them... Your, your order comes beautifully, you know, packaged and wrapped with their sticker. It has an envelope in it. Uh, this one has a Christmas card in it, my invoice. They even send a candy with every order. And this was just a little, I'll show you what I got from them. It wasn't like a huge thing. Uh, I think bigger orders will come like in maybe a, a, a fancy box or whatever, but... I got her first pair of pretty originals. Yay! Because <laughs> she needed a little tights. And then I needed a couple um, long sleeve collar bodysuits for her. Um, I wasn't sure where else they'd get them in. And I know uh, Babadoo is a great quality. So I got uh, one Peter Pan collar and one Ruffle collar white bodysuits. And their quality is amazing too. Like you just can't. I can take this sweat jacket off. It's actually warm up here. It's pretty, not, not too chilly today here. Oh, it was freezing yesterday. All right. So, um, the other thing that came was one thing I ordered from Target, which took forever to come. I ordered this, like, right away. Anyway, this is Cat and Jack. And it's a really pretty uh, knit um, little, I guess, uh, sh trouser shorts with suspenders. I don't even know what you call them. Um, but the suspenders have the little ruffle on them. It's Cat and Jack, if I didn't say that. And then it has this cream uh, long sleeve. Now, I think I'm going to do, for this change, I am going to use the Peter Pan collar white um, Babadoo under this. Um, because I want to use the Pretty Originals and they are white with, with pink. And the... What came with it is a cream, so I will use this as well. But her cream tights, which was also an order from uh, Cat and Jack or Target, it just didn't come yet. <laughs> um, so anyway, I don't have. Uh, I want it everything to match. So as I begin to get little Miss Bindi changed here. I want to remind you all to go and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and the notification bell so that you never miss another video. 
And also my channel has a membership. So if you would like to become a part of the Pixie Squad, it is $1.99 a month. That's all inclusive. You can cancel it anytime. You must be 18 years or older. So for less than the price of a cup of coffee a month, come on in. I do exclusive live streams in there. And there's exclusive content and perks to being a part of the Pixie Squad and supporting my channel. All right, so we got that all told everybody all about the Pixie Squad and subscribing. Yes. So am I enjoying this baby girl? Yep, definitely thoroughly enjoying this baby girl. <laughs> <coughs> I think that she is the right, um, the right little girl for me. Um, you know, uh, I, I love that she's just, you know, different from Oscar. You know, she's still Claire Taylor, but, uh, you know, Claire Taylor's sculpt. But you know, she's very different from Oscar in, in her body size and uh, the, you know, silicone's a little different, but I just, you know, the size, um, difference, having a little, a girl, a little, uh, a little bigger, uh, you know, is just proving to be fun for dressing, for sure. <laughs> so I got the three months, uh, size for her, uh, pretty much everything I got, have ordered is is three month size um because they you know she needs it i think she may get away with some uh zero to three um in you know something that might run big in zero to three um but for the most part she is a three month size little girl um certainly the european one month sizes i don't see uh, getting away with for her. Definitely not. Maybe some American, uh, zero to three, as I said, because sometimes the zero to three can run very big and it, and is, well, zero to three means anywhere from zero to three months. So, you know, some of them run actual three months size. So that's what I'm finding I think it's with any baby it, it's really hard I know you know when people ask when you have a, a certain sculpt and they want to know what size you can only really give them a general because it's like well you know some of them are newborn but they could wear some zero to three if it runs small and the bigger babies you know like I'm sure she could wear all the way up to a six month size in certain things like it just so much depends on the brand. Um, I guess shoe size you could get, get give a pretty fair estimate, but even shoes. And see, that's why I love the European sizes. They just run consistently. You can tell somebody a size if you know shoe size. They're fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, whatever it is, and that's what they're gonna be. But here we got it all wonky and newborn you know some things that say newborn can't you're too big for a six month old and you know our zero to three is subjective so um it's why i really do like the newborn size because in the long run i mean the the european clothing because in the long run you're saving money because I think about how many times I've ordered things taking a chance on different brands and I'm not I mean I guess some people are just fine with um returning mail orders I've never even never once done it never returned something by mail if I'm not able to go to the store and return it it never gets returned it's just that's the way it is so it definitely saves me um, and then certain brands you get to know that they are consistent like 
like Jacquardy, for instance, they are consistent. You know, when I order Jacquardy, it's always, you know, the sizing is exactly. I know what size fits what baby, and that's that. And I never have to worry. I know the, the, the style is going to fit. The size is going to fit. The quality is going to be excellent. Um, well, these tights, hmm, these actually would have went with the off-white. Either or, because they're not a stark white like the shirt. They would have went with that, but they go with that too, so that's on. So, And I like the collared. I think it dresses it up a little more. So these pretty originals, these say newborn on them, but on the site they say that they run zero, new. you know, this size runs zero to six months. So I know the pretty originals fit the dweens very good. Um... I'm hoping she didn't need the next size up, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to find a little fuzz on there. I'll fix that later. I think I'm going to find that these will, you know, stretch just fine. Yeah, I think they're going to fit just fine. And I'll tell you all, because I put her in a few PJs and things off camera, and I I envisioned having such a hard time handling and dressing the willow. And I'm having zero problem. <laughs> zero. None. Like, same as dressing Oscar, Athena. It was the same as dressing my kid and any other silicone that I had. It's just the same. I mean, you know, I figured, oh, I would struggle with things like tights. Nope. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine, aunties. Oh, this is looking so cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. So I hope you all are having a good... Well, it's actually Thursday. I don't know if I'll put this up tomorrow for Friday because I already have a video up this morning that was filmed last night. But maybe I'll... Oh, this garbage man coming late. Wow. It's like almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh my gosh, she's looking so, so sweet in this. Look at you, baby girl. Yeah, for me, part of the bonding process is, you know, shopping for some special things for that specific baby. And, you know... Dressing them, making videos. See now, this is a three-month size. And this is a little baggy. But the next size down in the Cat and Jack would have been... Oh, I could have went zero to three. See what I'm saying about the emer Yeah. Oh, no. This is a zero to three. This is zero to three months in Cat and Jack. So, I mean, she technically could have taken a newborn in this. Like, really. I mean, I should have known that because I know how Cat and Jack runs. It's still cute, but it's definitely, you know. I She probably would need it for the length. I don't know that newborn. Well, I have Cat and Jack stuff from... Uh, for Oscar so I think in anything one piece she would need the length but maybe now I know for this uh, okay so I had these shoes I'm gonna try them on her they are a size zero so we'll see how these do I do have, oh, they fit nicely. I do have a jockety order. Oh, wrong foot. Yeah, mommy's not so good at girly stuff. Hmm? I'm going to get used to dressing a little girl. Um, <clears throat> She does have some jockety stuff coming, of course. How could mommy have a baby girl and 
not get her some jockety. Yep, yep, yep. For the holidays and stuff. But, oh, look at that. Look at that. I don't know if I like this color pink, though. I have tan, like a beige shoe that's kind of similar to this. Or I could do white, but then the tights are white. Hmm. All right, we'll see. And let's see. Let's see about that. I don't know. I should probably do a white bow. Let's see. I'm still getting used to, you know, her styling her hair. Um, I haven't really had much time to play around with it. I know I'm going to like the little barrettes in her. And I got, I got a pack of these barrettes that are just all different colors. And I got the one that had the two in case for any reason I want to do like a two pack. I think white would probably. Be cute. Er. I got these off of Amazon by the way. I think they were 11 and change on Prime ship. And it's like. I don't know like 50 something pieces. Something like that. And they're nice. They're just, you know, they have the slip resistant thing in them and everything. If you can see. Well, white might be too. Well, yeah. No, I like the white. I don't know. I have to figure her out because, you know, I'm not, mommy's not used to all this girly stuff, but I am having fun. And I'm just, oh, she feels so good to hold. She's just, oh, she's so fun. And then these came, I'll show you real quick before I let y'all go. I wanted to show you the packaging. Because these were on pre-order. They weren't, Amazon had them, but they weren't coming in until like, whatever, date in November. So they came. And these are these soothies. Um, and these ones are by Itsy Ritzy. And they are the round... They are the round, round ones, but they're all, all silicone. So, um, let's see. Real quick, we'll pop one in our mouth and see what that. I know Erica had some on her channel. I don't know what brand they were. Um, <clears throat> but she did have them. Let's see, the off-white or I'll go with the beige with that. Let's get her get a lube. Because these are actually pretty big. And her tongue, I noticed, like, it actually kind of goes up in the back. What's really neat is because she, her mouth is pretty open. And when you look this the right way, not only can you, of course, see her tongue, but you can see her uvula, which is pretty cool. I have not had a baby that, you know, had a uvula that you can actually see without, like, opening their mouth and looking in with a flashlight. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Because this is the one she had, which the nipple's a lot smaller. Um, And these are, I think these are just kind of like more of the knockoff brand of more of these types. They're a little smaller, though, and they're nice because the nipple is smaller. I think I might know where to get these to order them. They're actually really inexpensive. So, she's looking beautiful. And I think I'm going to take this off and put that one on her pretty little posse clip here. So we can take some photos. What do you all think? So, if you would like to see photos of Bindi and all my babies, 
um, please feel free to follow me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description of the video. Um, the links to everything is always in the description. To those of you that... Um, <sighs> don't know why am I spazzing with this don't know where the um, description is if you go to the right bottom of your screen and click that little upside down triangle it drops down the description of the video and that's how you find all the links so you'll find the link to uh, pixie squad membership um, and the link to my Instagram in there all right everyone all right, well, that's flopping around, but well, y'all get the picture. There's Bindi looking all sweet. Say, I love you, aunties and uncles. And say, come visit us in the squad. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Till next time. God bless.